Hello, it's inauguration day here at the Riverside County Administrative Center. I'm Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com, and we just witnessed the swearing in of two Riverside County supervisors. Uh, the first being a new one, uh, Kevin Jeffries, who is uh, going to be serving his first four year term. Uh, he won a rather heated election battle against incumbent Bob Buster last November, and he's going to be representing uh, the first district, which includes most of the city of Riverside as well as the cities like Elsinore, Wildemar. Canyon Lake, uh, rural areas west of Temecula and Marietta, Lake Matthews, and, and some other areas. But, uh, you know, after he was sworn in with his wife at his side, and after that he gave some remarks, obviously he was very thankful to his family and his volunteers and his staff for helping him get there. Uh, but then he talked about how he really wants to help, you know, be an advocate and help small business. He really believes that small business is going to be the key to uh, revitalizing the economy, and so he promised to do that. It's nice to have the employers who bring in a thousand employees, but it's the mom and pops that really serve the neighborhoods that I want to help every opportunity that I can. He promised to have an open and accessible office where maybe you might not get the answer you're looking for, but you'll get an answer. Uh, and so that's how he's kicking off his, uh, his first term after uh, serving in the state assembly as a uh, Republican assemblyman. Uh, next to be sworn in was uh, you know, returning supervisor Jeff Stone, who, is, uh, who was sworn in with, to, I believe, his third term on the board. Uh, he was first elected in 2004 and uh, he'll be serving until 2016. Now Jeff Stone is a uh, former Temecula City Councilman who um, represents uh, a district that includes Southwest Riverside County, Temecula Marietta, as well as Hammett, San Jacinto, and Idlewild. And again, he was very thankful. He had his uh, wife and his, uh, his own children on his side. He was very thankful to everyone from his parents to uh, his family and staff past and present. Uh, to help him get there, and uh, he talked about what an honor it is to be selected uh, by your fellow citizens. Nothing in life can be more humbling than being selected by your fellow, your, your fellow citizens uh, to lead them, especially during these very challenging economic times. He seems to think that the county has a lot of potential if you set the bar high. And uh, he also gave some reassurance to Cayman Jeffries that it's a lot easier to get three votes on the Board of Supervisors as opposed to uh, more than 40 in Sacramento. So uh, with that, we have a, a new five-member board. Uh, they have a lot of challenges in this year. Uh, revenues are still flat, although you know the economy is recovering. Uh, but they have a number of new costly obligations they have to budget for, uh, raises they're giving to the labor unions to um, for exchange for pension reform, a new jail, and, and who knows what else might come on the horizon. So uh, with that, I'm Jeff Horseman for the Press Enterprise and PE.com, and thanks for watching.